G'day DM fans. Today I'm going to do a video on some of the worst cards in the Duel Masters TCG. Now, as you guys probably know, Duel Masters released 12 sets, um, but the majority of those cards are actually pretty garbage. And today we're going to be looking at some of the worst of the bunch. So, let's get stuck into it. The first card I've got is Armored Cadden Bulbaro. So he's a 3 mana, 3000 power evolution onto a human, and while attacking he gains 2000 power for each other human in the battle zone. Now what makes his card so bad is that he's so weak, like he's only got 3000 power, you're paying 3 mana. Um, evolution creatures um, usually are so good because they have low mana cost and high power, whereas this guy, he has he's basically a 3 for 3. You, put, you may as well just run... Um, explosive dude Joe, you know what I mean? And as for the speed attacker, well, all humans cost at least two mana, so you're going to pay, you know, five mana for a 3,000 power creature. You may as well have Bombat General of Speed. So this card, in my opinion, is, um, yeah, the worst evolution creature in the Duel Masters TCG. Next card we got is Aqua Rider. This card is four mana, 2,000 power. And whenever your opponent summons a creature or casts a spell, he gains block until the end of turn. So, not only are his stats garbage, but he also has a pretty garbage ability as well. Um, yeah, he's a liquid people, so you can evolve him into bloody Crystal Lancer. Other than that, it's pretty useless. Next card I got is Eldritch Poison. This card's one mana, darkness spell, shield trigger. And what is it? You may destroy one of your darkness creatures. If you do, return a creature from your mana zone to your hand. So yeah, pretty garbage. You may as well just run Flood Valve, whatever. Um, there's too many restrictions, and yeah, it's just a bad card. Next card I got is Bazooka Mutant. Now this guy is 4 mana, 8,000 power. Oh man, so good. But he can only attack blockers, and he can't attack players. So, I mean, what are you going to do? Unless you can make him attack untapped creatures, then you can, you know, kill blockers, but only way is going to swing in. You're going to swing in with one of your weaker creatures. Your opponent will block it, and then Bazooka Mutant can go ahead and kill it. Um, there's so many better cards than this guy. Um, Trench Scarab is, you know, a pretty good card, uh, but this card here is pretty much useless, in my opinion. Next card is this guy, Vizier of Endurance. So he's five mana... 1,000 power blocker, he can't attack players, and whenever this creature blocks, no battle happens. So you're probably thinking, oh wow, awesome, this guy can block forever. Um, but he has 1,000 power, so he dies to everything, like Crimson Hammer, Burst Shop, all that. But when, it, when he blocks, he obviously becomes tapped, and what's your opponent going to do? Your opponent's just going to kill it with bloody Bronze Arm Tribe or Aqua Hulkus. So yeah, he can survive the first block, but once he's tapped, he's pretty much screwed. The next card I've got is Aurora of Reversal. Now this card is, oh my god, I, this card is pretty damn garbage. Five mana, spell, nature, choose any number of your shields and put them into your mana zone. Now, I've got no idea really why you'd want to do this. Um, for five mana, you may as well just use Ultimate Force, you know, get two, two cards into your mana zone. Sacrificing your shields for this is just um, very, very risky. And I don't think you could really build a deck around this card. Uh, the next card I got is Motorcycle Mutant. Four mana, darkness blocker. This creature can't attack. And whenever you put another creature into the battle zone, you've got to destroy this creature. So far out, you know. You summon this guy on turn four or whatever. And then on turn five, it's like, oh, now I can't summon any creatures because I'm going to lose my big blocker. Um, you may as well run Dark Clown, something like that, or just run Bloody Squido, you know. The next card I got is King Pontius, I think it's called. And wow, this guy here. 8 mana, 4,000 power, and whenever this creature attacks, you may search your deck for a, a water card and put it into your hand, I believe. Show your opponent, yep. Trouble is... You get to turn 8, you summon this guy, your opponent can just oh, just kill it with anything. You know, if you're paying 8 mana for a creature, you, you better have some bloody good stats, let's put it that way. 
So as soon as you summon this guy, your opponent's just going to use bloody Tornado Flame or Kareelit or whatever, you know. Eight mana is just way too much. Here we have the fan favorite, Blaze Cannon, the big boy himself. Seven mana, fire spell. You can only cast it if, you, if you're basically running a mono fire deck. And until the end of the turn, your creatures gain power attack of 4,000 and double breaker. Now, you know, mono fire, you're not going to get to turn seven. You know, you're going to try and win within the first, you know, five turns or whatever. Um, there's so many better cards than this. Uh, mainly snake attack gives all your creatures double breaker. Yeah, no good. And the worst card, in my opinion, in the Duel Masters TCG is Rise and Shine. So here's a Dual Civilization, four mana spell, um, light, water, shield trigger, and it says, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Put one of that, one of those creatures that have blocker into your hand and put the rest at the bottom of your library. So it needs to be a blocker, you know, creature with blocker, all that. Um, the reason why I think this card is the worst card in the Dual Master TCG is because it's a Dual Civ. Now, all these other cards here that you see, these can all be put into your mana zone, so they're not completely useless. But this guy here obviously goes into your mana zone, tapped. Um, and not only that, it's just a complete garbage spell. Um, who knows what they were thinking when they printed that card. Uh, but yeah, there you go, guys. That's my top 10 worst Dual Masters TCG cards. Um, yeah. These cards are pretty much all garbage, but in my next video, I'll be going over my favorite um, Dual Masters TCG cards, top 10. Um, so yeah, you'll be seeing some pretty good cards in that, in that list. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.